All right, guys, if you are much higher vibe than you used to be, and you've already gone through a lot of the inner child work, a lot of the shadow work, and there's, and there's like a new chapter of your life that you want to start, and you don't understand why it's not in yet, given all the work you've done. I just had a client call where I walked her through this, so I wanted to share this insight with you too. Um, and this is especially if you're single. So sometimes when you're doing that inner child work and that shadow work, you made the decision to be your best friend. Because if you're doing a lot of inner child work, and a lot of shadow work, it's because your childhood wasn't so good. So you're going back to all these old memories, you're validating them, and you're getting this feeling of, oh, so that's why I feel this way. That's you being your best friend. You're choosing to focus on yourself with positive intent. Give yourself what, discovering what you need, discovering how you feel, um, and then giving yourself what you need, self-care, self-love. So what happens though is th that phase can start to feel boring, but you won't admit it because that's how you're showing yourself love right now. And you don't want to like admit, I don't like loving myself. So people can get trapped into shutting down their desires for the spiritual people. You're shutting down your second chakra to even become aware of what your desires are and even to ask for them because you don't want to admit, um, commit a self-betrayal. People previous in your life didn't show you love, so you don't want to tell yourself that you don't love yourself. So you start to wind down your passions, your desires, not even admit them to yourself, and then you're, and then you're kind of stuck in the situation where your life is good, you know, you're safe, you got decent housing, um, but you're not moving forward. And what can kick in is a, but I don't want to change. Why can't it come in? I'll make another video on that. Like you have to be willing to change. It can't just come in without you being willing to change, but that's just a key indicator that you're going through this right now. Um, and so like what needs to happen is you need to recognize that you're going to show yourself love in a new way you are likely going to start manifesting in new friendships or a new lover that feels more loving. It, it's not just winding down the chapter of you living in whatever apartment you're living in or winding down the chapter of you being at whatever job level you are so you can move up a level, right? Those kind of changes and shifts and transitions in life are easier. This is the one where, where you're admitting, I don't want to spend as much time on inner child work and yada yada, and how you'll know you're there is inner child work when it feels like a, oh, I'm getting to know myself. Oh, so that's why I feel the way I feel. And when you clean up an inner child work and you get an instant result, that's when you're like thriving off of being your best friend. At some point you start searching for them. Where's the inner child holding me back? But if you're searching for the inner child, it's not an inner child that's holding you back. It's one of two things. One, you're unwilling to focus on the positive thing that you want because what you focus on, you get whether you want it or not. So you're unwilling to focus on it because of what I've just explained. It's like a self-betrayal of winding down the chapter of your life where you were your best friend. Um, and the other reason, The other thing that it could be is that sometimes it's not an inner child holding you back. It's a new skill set that you need to develop. A lot of my clients come to me because they feel extremely guilty over saying no. Once you clean up the inner children that have the really bad like memory where saying no led to a bad result for you, it's no longer inner child work that's going to get the result. It's the new skill that you have to develop. In that case, it's called the self-concept of me. But sometimes you have to develop the skill set. Another example is like people with like ADD or ADHD. Um, yeah, there is, a, there is a certain amount of like inner child work that you have to clean up. I should probably make a longer video about this. In short though, it's, you have like all these bad memories down here. You have all these bad memories and instead of thinking of the bad memories, your mind is going, oh no, let's think about this thing. Oh, let's think about this thing. Let's think about this thing. Let's think about anything other than these bad things. So when you do the inner child work and clean one up, your mind isn't as squirrely. It's when you clean another one up, it's when you clean all the inner children up, it's kind of slower. What happens here though, is people can get stuck in the trap of what inner child is still causing this. When in reality, it's just developing the new skill set, which is developing your focus. Like guys, literally, you can stare at a nail on the wall, just set a timer for two minutes, and you're developing the skill set of focus. 
you can hold like an orange in your hand and go, I'm staring at an orange. Anything that's like boring and non-emotional for you, you just need to develop the skill set of focus. Um, but okay, so back to the main topic of this video. So if, you're, if you are at a point of where life is pretty decent for you and pretty good and you just can't cross over into that thrive, you know, where you're taking your kids like a Disney cruise, where you're going on vacations, where maybe you want to be your, buying your dream home. It's because you're winding down the phase of your life where your primary focus was inner child work. And now you have to be willing to focus on the new things. So it's admitting that it's not a self-betrayal. It's recognizing that you're going to develop the new way to love yourself. And some of your love is going to come from other people now. So do you see why you might have a little hesitancy to cross over into this line? You don't want to... So you need to recognize that you're going to learn, learn a new way to love yourself. And you need to just kind of be at a place of... of I call it like graciously, appreciatively winding down a chapter of your life. Um, I had one client who, during the pandemic, she was just, I'm going back home to, you know, my home country. And the flight that she booked was like three weeks out. So in that three weeks, it was go to every favorite coffee shop you had, go to every favorite bookstore, like really relish and appreciate the heck out of the chapter of your life. Um, in Miami, go to the beach, go, like talk to all the people. Um, you don't need to be sitting those three weeks in like panic, worry, you know, because pandemic and my flight and will I get clients? It's appreciate that chapter you had and everything you liked about it because then you're, then you're at a higher vibe appreciation state for the new chapter. So just allow yourself to, to go, I really did love loving myself. I loved all the time I spent getting to know myself. Um, I love the boundaries that I developed during this time. I love that I, I can identify how I feel now and that it's so much easier to express them with people and that a lot of my other relationships are healthier now. Um, and the last step would be to like kind of give yourself that dangling carrot, which is in this case, it's going to be harder than other ones, right? Because if you're going for promotion, it's like, I'm going to feel like a director. I'm going to have this extra money. This one is a little bit of the unknown, which is why you've been like stuck and stalled and stagnated for as long as you have been. Um, it's, I get to discover a new way to love myself. And a hint there is that instead of it being an inner child that you're validating and going, oh, I understand myself. That's why this is so hard for me. It's going to be more like a, oh my God, I really love this hobby. Oh, I really love this dance. It's going to be, wow, I just discovered my new favorite food. So it's going to be like identifying new preferences that you like. So you're going to get tapped back into a whole new set of joy that's about movement, that's about action, that's about interacting with people. Instead of, let me give you guys an example. So when I was going through that transition, I was just, you know what? You know what I miss about the corporate world is that I miss having someone to walk in every day and saying, hi, good morning. I hope you have a good day. How was your weekend? I loved that. It was really light touch. So I started driving Uber just one hour a day in the morning, six to seven. And the people you get at six to seven in the morning are people coming home from third shift or trying to get to work. And I just thought, it's like the shortest five, 10 minute rides. I live in a small city and it's just, hi, good morning. How are you? And you get to hear about their day, what's, what they're looking forward to, or you get to take them home after like a long shift. And it's like, what was the favorite part of your work night? Um, right. I just discovered that I really like those light touch relationships and just giving like strangers well wishes for a good day. And like, when I see their smile getting out of my car there, I'm like, ah, oh, I would have never have known that if I stayed stuck in the let's find another inner child to clean up. So bottom line is if you're not getting results from the inner child, because if you clean up an inner child and get a result, that's the appropriate phase for you. If you clean up an inner child and you're not getting a result, you have to be willing to wind down the trap of you being your best friend and recognize that it's time to discover new preferences, new things that you like. It, it's, it's you're entering into the stage of being. Okay, so I hope this video helped you guys kind of explain some things and I hope it helps show you that you might discover that even driving Uber an hour a day like makes your day, um, but you get to be on that self-discovery of I like this, I like this, instead of 
oh, this is why I felt feel this way. It's, I like this. I like this. So here's a fun activity I like to do. Um, so I hope this video helped you guys. Give me any questions and comments down below. And if you would like coaching, I do have spots open right now. So I'll put a link in the description uh, for you to book a discovery call so we can see if we're a good fit. But love you guys. Hope you have a good day.